Well, hi there, it's Eric with another dive and adventure. This time I went up with uh, Steve and the gang to uh, Jervis Bay and we did a little diving on a beautiful day in February. And here's me following Steve down to the Murray's Beach boat ramp. You can see the sky is blue, beautiful warm day, absolutely marvellous. And there's the gang loading the stuff into the boat. This mob came from Canberra and uh, wanted to come down and explore Jervis Bay. And there's Steve loading the boat. You can see the water is so clear. The sky is blue because it was as hot as anything and we all decided to actually get in the water while we waited for the boat to come up. And of course some people decided to practice their boat entry skills. And then we set off from the Murray's Beach boat ramp across to the other side of Jervis Bay there, just the lighthouse side. We were going to uh, the docks first up. And there we are at the docks, making a descent into the beautiful blue water. It was about 23 degrees, I suppose. And we had between nine and 15 meters of visibility. Got a bit murkier down the bottom, but uh, all in all, it was a great place to explore. Lots of big rocks, lots of overhangs, lots of little swim throughs and plenty of time to just muck about. And then of course I left the gang for a bit and went off on my own and decided to do what I love to do and that's film fish. And uh, this is where I actually made my safety stop at five metres. Just before getting up into the boat. Really nice to be able to float around there and watch the fish. Didn't actually want to come up. But when we did, what do you do? Well, you get back in. That's what you do. So we all took off our dive gear and jumped in for a snorkel and a muck about. In fact, I think we stayed there for about, oh, it must have been nearly an hour. Just enjoying the, the sun and the warmth and the times together. Well, then we figured it was probably time to leave the docks and go around and have something to eat for morning tea. And that's uh, just the cave in front of you there that you can actually slide, uh, slide into, go dive into, or swim into, and you can walk right the way up, if you're so game. And of course, coming around the corner, you see this really, really lovely uh, rocks that Jervis Bay is known for. So many little cavelets and overhangs and swim-throughs and all sorts of stuff. Of course, the thing I love about diving with Steve is he doesn't hurry you up. He just lets you play around for as long as you want.
And we motored on to a little place called Boat Harbour. And that's where we had morning tea and lunch. I actually offered to do the lunch so I didn't get on the second dive. But here's a little bit of just how beautiful Boat Harbour is. There's plenty of time to have something to eat. Lots of watermelon, lots of munchies. And uh, this is the group just after the second dive, coming back for lunch, and I made some lunch up for them. And we spent about an hour mucking around on the beach before we drove off and went along to our snorkeling spot. And this little cave here is actually a single cave, but it's separated by a pillar. So you can actually go in one side, go around and come out the other side. You can snorkel, you can even kayak through that on high tide. And just coming around, you can see some of the really quite spectacular rock formations that are there. Now coming along this uh, cliff wall here, you can see a number of little cavelets and uh, it's quite shallow, it's only probably about five metres, but it does drop off quite uh, abruptly, probably 20 metres out. And apparently if you're lucky you'll see the odd grey nurse shark hanging about. Now just that little cavelet in front of us there, that's where we would actually swim out of. Uh, And we're just coming up to the entrance to that, which is a little ways along. You can see the headland there. This is a great place to go diving in a nor'easterly. Really sheltered. In a southerly though, it does get beaten about a bit, so you do have to pick your day. And there's where we'd be snorkeling in. So, uh, one of the boys jumped out and he kindly threw the anchor over a rock for us. And we all got in and we had another amount of time snorkeling. There's Steve with his camera. As you come around the corner you can see that swim through. Now this is low tide so it was probably only two metres deep. And uh, you can get a sense of just how tall this cave is. There's some lovely sponges all the way along. And uh, really quite pretty stuff. Stuff I normally only have seen much deeper. But I think in such a protected area, it's uh, able to grow a lot. Quite well, it's able to grow right up to the shore, isn't it? And there's someone diving under me. God, these people had too much fun, I tell you. Actually, they were a really great bunch.
And of course, that was uh, the end of our day. I think it was, this was about 3 p.m., so we'd had quite a few hours there. There was a bit of a southerly coming up, and Steve wanted to get back, so we had to leave probably a little earlier than I think we would have liked to. I'd just like to thank Steve from Mulla Dulla Dive Adventure for taking us up there, and everyone that came along had a really great time. I'm certainly going up again. See you next time. Bye.